Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this pair of fully rhinestone sunglasses. I used an older pair of sunglasses I had lying around, which is why they look a bit beat up. You can do this with any pair of sunglasses that have a decently thick frame that you can cover with the rhinestones. I started by popping out the lenses so I wouldn't get glue on them or accidentally sand them but I actually had a really hard time getting them back in the glasses at the end, so I wish I had just left them in and cleaned off any mess I made. I used a piece of sandpaper all over the front of the frames to rough them up, which helps the glue and the rhinestones to adhere to it better. Once it was sanded, I used rubbing alcohol to remove the dust and any dirt or oil on the surface. My favorite glue for rhinestone projects is called Gem Tack by the brand Beacon, and I transfer it into a precision tip bottle. I used silver rhinestones in the sizes SS8, SS3, and SS5. There are links to everything in the description. I started by applying a thin line of gem tack on the bottom edge of one of the lenses and used a wax pencil to pick up and place the rhinestones across the glue. I used SS3 stones across the thinnest section and switched to SS5 and SS8 stones as the frame got a bit thicker. Towards the top edge in the thickest areas, I started using multiple stones side by side. I outlined the inner and outer edges of the thickest areas first to make sure I had a nice clean edge, and then I filled in the space with different size stones as tightly as possible. Then I did the other lens outline following the same stone sizes I used on the first to keep it looking as balanced as possible. The most important thing is for the inner and outer edges to have a nice clean line across the edge of the glasses, so really take your time lining up those stones to be perfectly even. Next I worked my way into the middle of this bridge section between the lenses, and that covered the entire front section of the frames. Next I did the arms of the glasses. First, I sanded them and wiped them with alcohol, just like I did with the front of the frames. I started by outlining the edges, again to get that nice clean line across the top and the bottom. It got a bit trickier at this curve, and I started using different sizes to fill in the space as tightly as possible. Once I had the outline done, I filled in the inside gaps with rhinestones, adjusting the sizes as necessary. You might need to do a bit of nudging around to get everything evenly spaced, but GemTac is a very forgiving glue that dries slowly, which gives you time to make adjustments as you go. You might have some white glue spilling out between your stones, which is totally normal and it will dry completely clear. Try not to use way too much and make a huge mess, but you do want them to be nice and secure. So in my opinion, it's better to use a little too much glue than not enough. If you really mess up, you can just wipe it off and try again. Once you have filled in the entire arm, repeat the same process on the other one. Next I did the top edge of the front of the frames. I just did rows of two stones all the way across. Then I did the outside edges of the front of the frames, but I didn't want to cover the parts that rest on my nose and my face, so I just did it along the sides until I reached the bottom edge. Doing the top and side edges really made it feel complete. It still looked a bit naked before I added those stones. Finally, I popped the lenses back in and they were all finished. It's a good idea to let the glue cure for at least seven days before use to make sure those stones are really secure. After those seven days, you may want to clean the glasses to get any wax or glue residue off the rhinestones and make them super sparkly. You can follow the exact same steps shown in my tutorial for washing a rhinestone tumbler. And that's all there is to it. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. See you later.